going on, smart people? Welcome to this week's episode of 13 Reasons Why. I'm running a little bit late today. I have statistical mechanics in like 35 minutes, so let's let's just jump right into it. Let's freaking do this. They should guy. make gloves for your feet. You guys ready to do some stat mech? I think we're finishing up grand canonical ensembles today. Last week was cool because at the end of the week we didn't have any homeworks assigned, and now it's Tuesday, and now I have homework for quantum, stat mech, and quantum field theory already. But our stat mech today is February 19th, and the, it's not due until March 5th, so we have a lot of time, I guess, to get that done. I think it's because these homeworks, our professor knows how long these homeworks are taking us, so he gave us more time this time. But now I'm going to go pick up Rigo's TA shift for... Uh, for lab, I have to go teach lab now. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Today is proving to be much more hectic than I thought it would be. Clearly I'm home from school now. I finished TAing the lab. It took the entire time, which is fine, but now I am home and I'm trying to get this next tensor calculus video recorded. Uh, and then, so right now it is about 1.42 and then around 2.30 I have to pick up Kelly because she has to go to the doctors. And then after that, I'm hoping to have my entire video recorded. That way when I get home, I can start editing. And then after that, I can get started on some actual work. So I'm gonna get started on recording this video. I think I can get it done in 40 minutes, but we'll see. I am finally done recording the tensor calculus video. I said I wanted to try to get it done in 40 minutes. I don't know when I said that, but it definitely was more than 40 minutes ago. Right now it is about six o'clock. So I'm gonna get to editing this video. Yeah, these things take a lot longer to do than you might think. It's, it's mostly because for these kinds of videos, I want to make sure everything I say is completely correct. And I wanna know that what I say is helpful. If I just say something that I, I know would confuse me if said to me, even though it's correct, it's like, all right, maybe there's a better way of saying that. So I'm going to get to editing this video. That'll probably be it for today's video. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Something I forgot to mention, today is Tuesday, and that means that today is the day that I'll be on the Science Channel for the show What on Earth. Now, I don't have cable, so I wasn't planning on watching it today, but my dad said that he would... Uh, FaceTime me on the Alexa and then point it towards the TV so that I can watch. My mom offered the same thing or she offered to record it and then send it to me. So I guess I'll do that. I think it airs in like an hour or so. So yeah, that will be embarrassing. <laughs> ah! I love Tardigrades. You did an episode on Tardigrades. You didn't tell me that. I brought it up. <laughs> So I'm I'm the alien I'm the alien conspiracy. Oh guy. my god. It's possible for them to come here and exterminate it. Oh my god. You're the you're the guy. I wanna die. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be a meme. Okay, I'm going to bed. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Today is Wednesday. I have quantum mechanics in 38 minutes. I don't really have time for a, a long intro vlog to the day, so let's let's just let's just jump right into it. This is our room for quantum mechanics. It's kind of a cool room. Big old blackboard. Today we don't have it for two and a half hours, which is nice, but we do have it in like five minutes. So see you after. Psst. Sharon. What do you have going on for the rest of the day? I am uh, meeting. I have group meeting. Oh, for research? Yeah. Yeah, just rub it in. I get it, Sherrod. I'm not doing any research right now. Yeah. We just got out of quantum mechanics. Uh, it is around 1040 right now, and in about an hour and a half, I have to go to quantum field theory. In the meantime, I think I'm going to work on the quantum mechanics homework. We also, we also got our homework for quantum field theory. Let me just show you what this looks like. The first problem is perturbative approach to the path integral. And uh, we're given some partition function it looks like and told to show some things involving the Feynman diagrams, which we just got to. So I'm not too familiar with Feynman diagrams yet. And then this is still the same question. Show non-perturbatively that this thing is the generator of quantum fluctuations. Then the next problem has to do with uh, quantum corrections. And where we're given some interaction, it looks like. We, can, we consider a real scalar field theory with an arbitrary interaction potential. And I'll let you guys read this, so you can just pause that, because I'm not reading all that out loud. 
Cool. We also got our quantum homework back, so I figured I'd show you that real quick. This is the one that was like 12 pages for me. We've been spending a lot of time on angular momentum, uh, but at least the equations look really cool. So let me show you what some of this looks like. I just think this stuff looks so beautiful. <laughs> plus more pages, you get the idea. I actually got a 9.5 out of 10 on this homework instead of, can you focus? Instead of a 10 out of 10 because I forgot to account for the fact that the earth is flat. Rookie mistake, I know. A good amount of time has actually passed since the last clip. Right now it's about 4 p.m. I went to quantum field theory and we learned about fermionic path integrals. Uh, as I mentioned before, part of our grade of the course is giving individual lectures, so we have to read ahead of time and then give the lecture to the rest of the students, and uh, then our professor picks up where we leave off, and this is part of our grade. One student did that today for the fermionic path integral, so they went over uh, Grassmann algebra and Grassmann numbers. Pretty new concept to me, but she did a really good job, and some of these students are actually taking the course remotely at Fermilab, so they Skype in, so this student just prepared a bunch of slides and skyped in and explained things but it ended up working out really well like I said they did a good job and I also chose what topic I will be giving my lecture on so I will have an hour and 15 minutes to talk about non-abelian gauge theories in probably around a month or so so I'll probably spend a, a good portion of it talking about the group theory I'm assuming and then the rest will be QCD. So I'm looking forward to that. As for the rest of today, I have a lot of work done to get done before this weekend, really before this Friday, because Friday, Kelly and I and a bunch of friends are going out to a cabin for the weekend, and I won't really be able to do any work then, so i got to get it all done now. Hopefully that doesn't impact the time that I upload this. I, I'd say at the earliest, though, this video is going to be up late Sunday night. We'll see how it goes, though. What was really cool was after field theory, my professor sat down with me for like 45 minutes, and we were just talking about uh, quantum field theory on curved space-time and because I had some questions on if you know we use a Minkowski metric but what if there's a little bit of curvature in there can I treat it perturbatively or, or how do I handle something like that and he basically said assuming it's not a dynamic metric you can actually use a regular metric you just explicitly write out your uh, Lorentz invariant Lagrangians and you keep it seemed like you do better bookkeeping I guess I don't I still don't really understand I mean it was only like 45 minutes of talking but what was cool about that is after a certain point of being a physics student you stop revisiting and going back to those pop science topics so I like that he entertained my questions and we can actually have an intelligible conversation about how people go about handling that kind of thing. I think a lot of you probably have had a similar experience where you say quantum gravity to some professor and they give you, ugh. Like that's a great way to kill someone's imagination. So it's cool to see that there's still professors out there that will entertain that kind of thing. Anyways, I spent more time talking about that than I meant to. I'm gonna start writing these notes for tomorrow's video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Boop. Tomorrow. A few things on the agenda for today. I have StatMech in about an hour, and then afterwards I have to go to tutoring, and then that'll finish up everything on campus. The big part of the day is I have to record and edit today's video, which should take a little bit of a while, and I also have to finish grading these papers because early performance grades are due soon. So that's where people in like the lower 100, 200 level classes get effectively a progress report, how you're doing on how you're doing. So I've got to get that done be before the weekend because as I mentioned before, going out of town tomorrow. You ready guys? For some do this. So these are the topics that we have left in quantum field theory. Tio is just explaining it. So we have, we just covered the fermionic path integral. And then next is QED, which one of the students in the class is going to give a lecture on. And then we get to non-abelian gauge theories, which is what I'm giving my lecture on. My professor just says, Andrew's doing the lecture on QCD. I think I'm going to have to spend a lot of time talking about group theory before I actually get to an example, but we'll see. Then we'll get into the Higgs mechanism, ghosts, <laughs> and then the standard model, which sounds, have you guys seen the standard model Lagrangian? This is a picture of it. I don't, I'm not envious of the person that's covering the standard model. What else do you guys have going on today? We are out of statistical mechanics now, as you can tell. I have to go to the supercomputer again. Oh. And cry about it. Is it work yet? No. <laughs> it's, it's It's been down for like two months now because the power went out, and, and I guess supercomputers don't like that. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm the guy that supposedly knows how to fix it, but I don't. 
A trial and error. You'll figure it out. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I have the computational physics. Oh. And then I have the TA duty. I have a lab to teach. Oh. And you're doing E and M. E and M. Cool. Um. Yeah. I don't. I don't tutor or tutor. I do tutor today. I don't have lab until tomorrow, but I do have tutoring at noon. So I guess an hour from now, I should be grading papers. I just, I really don't feel like it. It is time to go home. Just finished tutoring. I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe? Okay, bye. Now that I am home, I can record today's video really quickly before Kelly gets home because we need to clean the house before tomorrow when we leave. It's been a hectic week. I am all done recording the video and it is finally up and uploaded. Right now it is 10.30 p.m. It's been uploaded for a while, but I was working on some other stuff. So before I go to bed, one question before, I guess, tomorrow's intro clip. If you're at the North Pole, which direction is east? Okay, see you tomorrow. The next day. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Today is the last day of the vlog. Really, the only thing on the agenda, as far as the vlog is concerned, is I have the TA lab at 10.30. Right now, it is exactly 8 in the morning, so I have two and a half hours. We're going in there pretty early because Kelly has a cosmology exam to get knocked out, which she's about to go kill. And in the meantime, I'm going to spend that time grading papers. Now, I know I've talked about grading papers a lot throughout this video. It's not that I've just been continuously grading papers and there's still more. I've just kind of been putting a lot of it off to do more fun things, like be an ant on the surface of a sphere. But we're about to get going to campus. Maybe I'll show you what we're gonna be doing for lab today a little bit. We'll wrap up the video. Cool, let's get to it. Figured I'd take some time to explain what this lab today is actually on. These students now are learning about forces. So here we have a force sensor, and what it does is it measures how much force is being applied to this little hook right here and displays it on the screen in terms of Newton. So if I take this mass right here and I put it on this platform, the sensor will measure how much force this mass is applying to the hook and display it on the screen. We get minus 1.93 Newtons, and we know what the mass is, and we can compare it to Newton's laws, F equals MA, to see what we should get theoretically, and then we can compare with how well theory agrees with the experiment, and they go through this for things like a hanging mass, masses attached to a spring where they measure the displacement of the spring, and as well as just having some tensions on a pulley. So that's pretty much the entire lab, actually. Still got a lot of time to kill before lab actually starts, so I'm going to get to grading. just finished the lab and I'm getting out six minutes early, which is awesome. Throughout the lab, I got almost all of my grading done, but then I forgot that we also had, or they also had homework due today, so that's more stuff to grade. The process continues. This seems like as good a spot as any to stop the video. I love how much the grad students, the other grad students here, have just welcomed me bringing the camera and then putting them on the internet forever, so that's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments section if you did, and I'll see you guys there. Bye.